Well, many of us love a good glass of wine with our lunch or dinner, but sometimes it can be difficult trying to figure out what kind of wine goes best with a certain kind of meal. And here to help us figure it all out is Jennifer Layton, General Manager of Layton's Chance Vineyard and Winery in Vienna. So the first thing, for years we've so often heard that, you know, like I said, certain meals go with certain wines. Why is that? Well, they've often been paired to either complement or contrast the flavor or the weight of the meal. So how rich a meal is, um, how flavorful, has a more flavorful wine, um, or you can contrast it as well. So there is a reason behind all of it. Right. It's not just a rule that was made <laughs> for no reason. Um, let's start, we're going to talk about the different kind of wines. Let's start with the red wine here. Explain mm -hmm. to us what kind of food we would want to be having with red wine. Well, typically you have beef, lamb, um, or pasta with marinara sauce. So those types of heavier dishes. And there's also salmon and, and tuna steak. Yes, for seafood, heavier seafood. And then game meats mm -hmm. as well, your, your lamb and, your, and all of that Your stuff. duck. All yep. right, so those, those kind of things. So that's with the red. Now let's move on to the white here. What kind of food would you want, or I would those, say what kind of wine would you want to have with your, with your food, which would be the white? Typically, you're looking at your poultry, your turkey, your chicken, as well as your seafood, um, the lighter seafood, and shellfish. So crabs go well with white wine. And of course that's good here on the Absolutely. peninsula. Everyone likes crabs, <laughs> so that's good to know. Now, you said that there's actually one little mistake people can make if they have something heavy and creamy like fettuccine alfredo, or if they have a heavy dressing on a salad and then having an uh, acidic wine. It's, the combo doesn't mix, why? Right, it's no different than if you took lemon juice and put it in a glass of milk. It curdles inside your stomach, so it can give you a sour stomach. So you want to pick a wine that maybe is a little on the sweeter side that brings down some of that acidity. And some people have titanium stomachs and may not be affected by it, but right. most people it may cause a little bit of upset, which you don't. Right, know. and you may have thought it's just what you ate, but it could have been the combination. Could have been the combination, right. So important to pay attention to. Now also, let's talk about dessert, my favorite part of any meal. <laughs> um, you know, so often we'll turn to coffee at, when having dessert, but people can also choose wine. What kind of uh, wine would you want to be having with dessert? Quite often, um, paired with dessert uh, are sweet wines. So you want to have those um, because they complement the sweetness of the dessert. However, if you're having something like dark chocolate, um, you can go back to a dry red wine because that complements it very well. Got it. So a lot of rules here. And we should mention, obviously, there, there's, there's a reason behind it, as you explained. Mm -hmm. But people don't necessarily have to follow these guidelines to a T. Absolutely. Your personal preference trumps everything, no matter what you should drink, if you don't like it, there's really no use in doing that. We believe that everyone should drink the wine that they like. Got it. And speaking of drinking wine, you guys are going to be having an event going on in April at the Vineyard, and it gives people a chance to kind of come by and taste some of the wines. You guys have a big variety, a lot of great wines, and they get a taste for them. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, well, you can come any day. We're open seven days a week, and you come any day for a tasting. Um, however, on April 14th, from 1 to 3, we're having the View of the Vineyard which will have vineyard classes, wine making classes, wine tasting and pairing classes as well. So people can come down and get a taste for it all. So obviously, Absolutely. you know, there's a lot of knowledge when it comes to wine that's needed. And obviously, if you're out in social circles or want to, you know, you're paying money for a glass of right. wine, you want to make sure it's going to go well with your, with your meal. Absolutely. All right, Jennifer, a lot of good information. I know I learned something. So I'm going to look good <laughs> next time I go out to eat and I get thank a glass you. of wine. Jennifer, thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. it. And of course, for more information on the event and Layton's Chance Vineyard and Winery, go to DelmarvaLife.com. Just click on the show tab. Lisa? Still ahead on Delmarva Life, everybody has a birthday, so everybody deserves a birthday cake. How one woman is making sure everyone gets a party no matter their family's financial situation. Plus, we're in the kitchen with the musical chef, Johnny Moe. He has two tasty recipes from his restaurant on the eastern shore of Virginia and an original song about what it's like living there. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.